Hi, this is Steve from Deep Instinct. Thanks for joining me for a few minutes to learn about a new strain of ransomware that is really really causing a lot of havoc for lots of organizations. So today, over the next couple minutes, I'm going to talk to you about the Maze ransomware. A little bit of history on Maze. Maze actually appeared in the wild last year, and I believe it was May of 2019. But he recently, it has made a resurgence. And this strain of ransomware is pretty insidious in that not only is it asking for you to pay a ransom to get your data back, but if you don't, and the more time it takes you to, as the victim of this attack, to pay the ransom, the attackers are threatening to put your data, all the information that they've, they've captured on what they're calling a shaming site. So this is a site in the underground where anyone can go in there, maybe potentially grab your data, buy it, use it, share it, everything that you don't want to happen with your data. So before we look at how Deep Instinct can help you protect your organization from Maze, let's take a look at what happens when Maze is run on a machine that is not protected. So I've downloaded a sample already. And I will attempt to run it here. Uh-huh. And the dreaded screen has appeared. Dear I user, your files have been encrypted. One file for free is proof of work. This computer is a home computer, so we'll be giving you opportunity price for recovery. So the ransomware is pretty smart. It understands that this is not a corporate machine. It's done some work behind the scenes. So obviously this is not a good scenario. Uh, if this was a, a corporate machine work environment, this could be a big problem. All right, so now we know, obviously, this ransomware is not going to be good for anyone. So let me show you the two different ways that Deep Instinct can protect your organization from the impacts of the maze ransomware. So the first is straight prevention. The way that our solution works, we are using deep learning to perform deep static analysis in what we call zero time. So this is before execution, pre-execution. As files move around a disk or, or downloaded to the disk, computer's disk, the deep static analysis kicks in and in milliseconds identifies if a file is mal malicious or benign. So I've already downloaded it and you can see right here, as I was explaining, the deep static analysis identified this new file and marked it as ransomware and blocked it. So right away, we are, we're in the clear. We're not going to be impacted by this ransomware. Now, before we move on to the secondary prevention capabilities, I want to talk a little bit about this policy that we used. What you, I really want you to take notice of is what we call our D brain package. So this is the deep learning analysis that occurs. So currently, the latest version of our D brain is version 115, which was released in June of 2020. The demonstration I just showed you, we were actually using our brain package 109, which was released in November of 2018. So, and once we release a pack brain package, that is no longer updated. There's no additional training that happens. That's what makes it really nice and effective and, and lightweight that it can be deployed on a number of different assets. We do not use your data to train our brain. We have our own training data sets that are enormous. They're in the cloud. We're using NVIDIA GPUs to, to complete the training process. But that occurred in November of 2018. And again, this, is, was, this was sample was just pulled down the other day. So we're talking you know, well over a year to 18 months. We were able to identify a piece of uh, ransomware as malicious, something that did not exist at all when this model was trained. So that shows you the power of deep learning and what we call resilient prevention, the ability to prevent day after day after day. We actually have a secondary protection that's in, in the solution in the off chance that there's a variant of a ransomware or some sort of malware that it does get by. Because we all know 100% prevention every single time is not a reality. So we have built-in behavior analysis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick change to the policy I have in place for this device. And essentially the only thing I'm going to do here is go to my default policy and turn off prevention. And as you can see, we have ransomware behavior capabilities. 
So I will go back and I'm going to go to my source, download the file, and then we'll take a look at it when we attempt to run it. Okay, I've re-downloaded the ransomware sample. We're in detect mode only. So that prevention that I showed you a minute ago is not going to occur. But as I said, we have a secondary prevention capability that's going to restrict this ransomware from running in our environment. So let me check it out. So as you can see, Deep Instinct did exactly as I expected. It identified the behaviors of this file to be ransomware and it stopped it. It didn't allow it to impact my files. Everything is safe and sound. I don't have to worry about this maze ransomware encrypting and stealing my data. So there you have it. That's how Deep Instinct can protect you from this new strain of the maze ransomware. To learn more about Deep Instinct and how we can help you solve your other cybersecurity challenges, visit us at deepinstinct.com. Thanks.